We're round entertainment. Uh huh. Uh huh. D Mob, the number one young cutty. Yeah, one round entertainment. <laughs> That's who I bang with. Ooh. Yeah, this is D Mob's documentary. Uh -huh. Glorify the savior. I'm a pro to the industry. Yeah, it's all reality. Spit the truth and I live it. Got it free so freely. I'ma come and give it. Let's okay, get now, it. Now let me introduce myself. They call me D Mob. Ha. Cause when I spit, you know I represent the NT God. Right. One proud entertainment is my label. They make it possible for me to do uh, my thing for uh. the kingdom. Cutting unstoppable. Yeah. You know with the business, be industry wanna limit me with artificial imagery. Kill my vision, you killing me. What? But I got no worries about all that while I'm killing He got Everything under control, even if you ain't feeling me. Uh -huh. t -t 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 Told y'all from Genesis, God is limitless. Right? Stay off my premises. Anything he start, he finishes. Uh -huh. Know the outcome gonna be tremendous. If you against him, you diminish. I'm trying to be found without a spot or blemish. Uh -huh. Pray, pray after this, after this, you will, you will know. No, when I, when I go, go work it like a work it like a pro pro. Uh -huh. You'll see, you cowards can never come and hinder me. And thanks for check, check, checking out D Mob's documentary. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is D Mob's documentary. Uh -huh. Glorify the savior, I'm a problem to the industry. Uh -huh. It's all reality, spit the truth and I. Live it, get it, free so freely, I'ma come and give it, let's get it, let's get it, yeah, yeah. this is D-Mob's documentary, right. Lord, find a savior, I'm a problem to the industry, industry. it's our reality, spit the truth and I live it, get it, free so freely, I'ma come and give it, let's get it, let's get it, yeah, this is D-Mob's documentary, Lord, find a savior, I'm a problem to the industry, it's our reality, spit the truth and I live it, get it, free so freely, I'ma come and give it, let's get it. D-Mob is a character. <laughs> like, like D-Mob could be the funniest dude around, or D-Mob could be like serious, like in a in a second. You know what I mean? D-Mob is a is a normal guy, man. I'm a dude who, who just love the Lord. Um, you know, didn't grow up in the church, you know, but uh, I'm just thankful that I did. You know, find that relationship, and I do have that relationship with with God right now. Um, a married man, you know, happily married man with a beautiful wife, four beautiful children. You know, shout out to to my boo Sierra, <laughs> uh, my four children, um, Jasmine, Kaylin, Devin, and Micah. And uh, I'm just I'm just a fun dude, man. I'm a, I'm a guy who who really gets along with everybody. Um, I don't know if I have any enemies. You know, I'm pretty sure you know they're out there, but. Um, you know, man, I, I, I'm a dude who's just lovable, love to love cats, man. You know what I mean? So, he mob is just a normal dude, man. So many words. <laughs> Man, D Mob, I got the name D Mob from uh, just having. A, I had a, I had a, a long car. Uh, it was a '78 Cougar. I had it at a young age. I was like 16 years old. And uh, every time, you know, me and my dudes wanted to go somewhere, I'd be like, "Come on, I mob, I drive." You know, what I'm saying, hop in the whip with me. Like, I always wanted to drive because I had my own car. And uh, I used to dip in and out of traffic. You know, and I had this. And to remind you, this car is real long. So, um, you know, I was just, you know, getting in and out of traffic and was like, man, you mob it, man. So, the name just kind of stuck with me, you mob. So, you know, and I had to spell it different because I was always on some, some different stuff. So, um, I was with D dash and then you That's how the name mob came about. It just kind of stuck with me. Even when I'm rhyming, you would notice in this timing to the world, cut he is an asset. Right. Hope you feeling me, and if I ever start to be a liability, time to bounce like a bad check. Um, today, uh, D Mob means uh, dedicated, making all of the estimators believers. When I, you know, when I gave my life to the Lord, um, I figured out that's what I was doing. You know, I figured out that I was that I was dedicated to my to my ministry, um, to my lifestyle, and um, and in being dedicated, you know, my goal is to make underestimators believe. You know, if you underestimate or you don't believe, you have doubt. That God is God is real, that He exists, that He's living. And um, you know, through my lifestyle, you know, I'm gonna convince you that He is real and, and perfectly turn, you know, turn cats into believers. I think that's what my goal is. I know that's what my mission here is on Earth. 
just to get people to recognize that, that Jesus Christ is real. A lot of people talk, but they don't realize it'll cost them something. I acting like my savior ain't gonna die for the cross or something. Grab the mic, no front, like I don't represent the boss or something. What I spit is real, think I'ma compromise my walk or something. Um, the mark or legacy that I that I really wanna leave is I wanna leave a strong imprint of um, of the lifestyle, you know, a, a life, a way of life that I live. Um, I want my kids to recognize that man, dad was a cool dude. You know, dad was, you know, he, he was this, he was that. But at the end of the day, I want them to know that I, that I serve Christ, that I love God, and um, that I serve people. You know, that I was, that I was a cat who was, who was tangible. You know, you got so many people who are not, you know, tangible. And, and I don't believe it's by choice, but they say, you know, I want to choose not to be tangible. I think it just happens, you know, but um. But I, I always want to be tangible. I always want to be noticed uh, going to the hood, um, and not by and not by the public eye. I'm not talking about being noticed by the for attention. I want the community. I want the people who I'm trying to minister to to notice, you know, the work that I'm doing, and I prayerfully it benefits them. You know, prayerfully they'll they'll see the Christ in me. You know, from from going to the prisons and ministering to feeding the homeless, you know, to doing things of that nature, really making an impact in my community and with my life more than just me.